So you want to go to college, but you just can't afford it. You think there's nothing left for you to do but go straight into the workforce after you graduate. But what if I said we could be allowed to receive a higher education for free? Would you change your mind and actually go to college first to better yourself before you hit the workforce? I think that America should offer free higher education to their citizens for three main reasons. Because the cost for students to attend college is just way too high nowadays. If we had free college, the more people would attend and that betters our workforce and our economy as a whole. And lastly, other countries offer for free and are still fully functional. So why can't America? My first point is the price to attend college has gone up way too much in the past few years. It is way too expensive for the average American student to pay for it anymore. According to the University of Central Florida, or better known as UCF, school's website, the price to attend college is about 16000 for the first year. But that's if you're a resident of Florida. If you're not a resident of Florida, that almost doubles to 32000 a year. What student who just graduated high school could even pay for that? Or if they took off a year to save money for college, they would never make that much in time. Next, most students don't even go to college or think it's an option because they just can't afford it. As I said earlier, the average price to attend UCF is about 16000 if you live in Florida. Who has the money to pay for that? My guess is not unless they're in a higher class family, but that's less than half of the student population. Most students trying to attend college come from the middle working class families, and they just can't afford that. The cost of a lot of well-known universities is discouraging many young men and women from going to college. There are a lot of intelligent students who lose out because they can't afford it and end up struggling the rest of their lives going job to job. Also, if you find many students end up having to drop out of college because they just can't afford it anymore, how would you feel if you wanted to better yourself and get a higher education and then a year later find out you can't pay for it anymore, that you just have so much debt that you have to drop out? Yeah, you went to college, but without the degree, it means nothing. No job position is going to care that you went for one year. They want proof. They want you to have the degree so they know you are qualified for that type of job. Additionally, the high cost of college makes students take out loans. At first, loans seem like the best thing to high school graduates because they can still go to college and they can pay all their fees off later. But I'm here to tell you that loans are never good for students. All it does is give the students debt and takes many years for them to pay off their loans. Some doctors are in their 40s and 50s before they finally pay off all their student loans that they have accumulated. No one should ever have to pay that kind of debt when they're just starting their lives. They shouldn't have to worry about spending a lifetime trying to pay off all their college loans. My next reason why we should have free higher education is because it's better for our workforce and economy as a whole. Statistics show that the higher the higher education men and women have, the better jobs they're able to get. And with a better job, the more successful they are in life. Most jobs in the workforce want college degrees, and it's becoming more of a struggle to get the jobs because there are so many competitors. If you don't have a degree, then you just don't stand a chance. So imagine if we had a no cost for higher education, our job market would be booming and our unemployment rate would dramatically decrease. If we could cut the cost of college fees and tuition, the more students can attend college. And the more young men and women who attend college, the higher level of performance they will give. That's all the better for our economy and country as a whole. We should want our young men and women to get the education so they can be intelligent and better our country. Because we are slowly declining as a nation when it comes to our education. We used to, be, we used to have the most intelligent people. But now we're slowly declining. We have fallen behind China and a few other countries. So we as a nation should cut the cost for college so more citizens can get themselves a higher education to bring our nation's standards back up and be more economical for everyone. So, so far we have talked about how we should have free higher education because the cost is too much for people to afford and it's better for our economy and our workforce. One last reason is if other countries can give their people free higher education, then why can't we? The idea that America should have free higher education might sound crazy to some people, but it isn't such a foreign concept as you may think. There are actually quite a few countries that give their citizens the right to go to college for free. Some of those countries include Germany, France, Norway, Scotland, Brazil, Finland, and many more. So if they can offer free college to their citizens and still seem to function properly as a country, then I ask again, why can't America? What is stopping us from following in their tracks and helping out our young citizens to get the education they need to succeed in the rest of their lives? There are many reasons why America should offer free higher education to their citizens. But the three I pointed out were that it costs too much for young men and women to attend any sort of college. Free college would better educate our people and will benefit our workforce and our economy as a whole. 
and other countries offer free higher education and are still fully functional today. Offering free college to America's citizens has multiple benefits, not just for people individually, but for our nation as a whole. 